He's gonna feel that in the morning. Well, hello again folks. Hope you are all still feeling well out there. And welcome to another video, hey. Now, if you happen to be watching this and I think I'm gonna drop it on December 16th, then it's plan B as plan A fell through. As it has been so wet in Northern Ireland as last while, the fields are totally waterlogged and I haven't been able to get out to get any fresh footage. Thankfully though, I was able to delve into the hard drive that just keeps on giving and pull this bit of footage out that's been hiding in there since 2015. And yes, I looked just as rough back then as I do now, just a little less greyer. This is at a farm that I used to do a lot of pest control on in the past. Sitting in the little blue van I used to have overlooking a silage clamp full of crop silage that the rats have made a home in. I'm using my Sandwell Field Sports Custom BSA Super 10. This was before John Bowkett got a hold of it, blueprinted it and shortened the barrel for me. And I was also using the good old Nightsight Viper, which back in the day was a decent bit of kit, even though it's a wee bit archaic by today's standards. The scope was an Eco Sterling Target Master 4 to 16 by 44 with the LRX Radical, and I believe the pellets were either a .22 Air Arms or Crossman Premiers at about 15 foot pounds of energy. But that's enough of the ganchin, so let's get on with it, hey. If you're wondering why I paused here, that was because I was running it through my head how tough was the sidewall in that tyre. Thankfully it's brave and tough. I think this was the first night I hit these rats, and as you can see they more or less totally ignored me once it got dark enough. But I did notice, once I hit them hard for a few nights, they did get very nervous once the IR from the Nightside Viper hit them. I sorta of held my fire here, as I thought I might catch on film a rat dragging away one of its dead bodies for a hot meal later on. Plus, I really didn't want to chance my arm again hitting that tyre, not full face on like that, even though the tread probably is the strongest point of the tyre.
Oh, here we finally go. No, no, you dopey, furry little miserable get you. I know it was eight years ago, but I remember thinking those words exactly, and more. And then he dandered off into the darkness, never to be seen again. Not the best of hits. I think it just moved as I took the shot. Though it didn't seem to get too far before finally dropping. So a follow up shot wasn't needed. Now that's a helicopter tail. I bet you that rat's fell on its face, as that's where the runner from before dropped down in. This is the second night I hit the rats, maybe a week or so later. Straight down the middle. Wait, did I miss that one? Hi.
hang on, this one's coming straight at me. Oh, I'll have you now. Just need to focus you a wee bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, there you go. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, 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 nuts, he's away. <coughs> Aha, peekaboo, you lose. Well, that's enough fun for one night. Plus, the rats seem to lose interest once it gets too cold. Plus, I need to do a wee bit of tidying up before I go home, as I'm sure the farmer doesn't want dead rats laying in his animal feed. But you can see the sort of damage the rats do, digging into the silage clamp and under the covers. Well folks, that's the end of another one. I hope you've enjoyed it, even though it was 8 year old footage. I do enjoy shooting rats, though it's something I don't often get an opportunity at, not in decent numbers anyway. But anyhow, don't forget to log in on Christmas Day, as I have something uploaded not only for this channel, but also my other channel, Nitro HV. That's unless you're lay out like a busted sofa after too much Christmas dinner that is. Take care folks and look after yourselves hey.